A 2022 study led by researchers at Griffith University Australia, published in Scientific Reports, proposes a tentative but plausible biological link between nose picking and an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. The research, conducted on mice, centers on the bacterium Chlamydia pneumonia, a pathogen known to cause pneumonia in humans and found in most brains affected by late-onset dementia. The study demonstrated that C. pneumonia can travel directly from the nasal cavity to the brain via the olfactory nerve. Critically, this invasion was significantly worsened when the nasal epithelium, the thin protective tissue lining the roof of the nasal cavity, was damaged. In such cases, the bacteria reached the central nervous system with alarming speed within 24 to 72 hours. The brain's response to this infection led to an increased deposition of amyloid beta protein, a substance that forms plaques commonly found in high concentrations in individuals with Alzheimer's disease. The researchers, including neuroscientist James St. John, noted they are the first to show this direct pathway in a mouse model, resulting in brain pathologies resembling Alzheimer's. This evidence, while preliminary, is described as potentially scary for humans, as it suggests bacteria and viruses may use the nose as a rapid route to the brain. However, the authors emphasize significant caveats. The primary research was conducted on mice, and it is not yet confirmed whether the same mechanism operates identically in humans. Furthermore, the scientific community is still debating whether amyloid beta plaques are a direct cause of Alzheimer's or a byproduct of other processes. Despite these uncertainties, the findings offer a promising lead for understanding the environmental and infectious contributors to this complex neurodegenerative disease. The study suggests that activities which damage the nasal lining, such as aggressive nose picking or plucking nose hairs, could theoretically increase risk by creating a clearer pathway for pathogens to enter the brain. St. John explicitly warns that damaging the nose's interior is not a good idea, as it could elevate the number of bacteria traveling to the brain. An outstanding question for future research is whether the increased amyloid beta deposits represent a natural, reversible immune response that subsides once an infection is cleared, or if they trigger a permanent, degenerative cascade. A 2024 review has since further advanced the hypothesis that nose picking could be a modifiable risk factor. The research underscores that Alzheimer's is a multifaceted disease influenced by more than just age. Environmental exposures, including bacterial and viral infections, are likely critical. The team stresses the urgent need to replicate the study in humans to confirm if the olfactory nerve pathway functions the same way. As St. John notes, while these bacteria are present in humans, how they reach the brain remains unresolved. In conclusion, this mouse study provides a novel and compelling connection between nasal health, bacterial infection, and Alzheimer's-like pathology. It highlights the importance of protecting the nasal epithelium and calls for further investigation into infectious agents as potential contributors to dementia. While not yet conclusive for humans, the research adds a crucial piece to the puzzle of Alzheimer's origins, moving science closer to preventative strategies and a fuller understanding of the disease.